Welcome everyone to the finale of Final Fantasy X! So technically the entire game is over, you know, if you watch part 99. But as I mentioned in that episode, there's actually one more bonus scene, and that is the Eternal Calm. So, I should quickly mention this, you know, that if you buy the HD Remaster of Final Fantasy X, you get Final Fantasy X, you get the bonus cutscene the Eternal Calm, you get Final Fantasy X-2, and then you get Final Fantasy X-2 Last Mission. And then you also get Final Fantasy X Will, the audio drama. So you have five things in one. Two game, uh, well, two real games, one roguelike game, like it's not a Final Fantasy and technically a scene. And then another scene, the audio drama. So a lot. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and watch the final scene of Final Fantasy X, The Eternal Calm. Here we go. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 30. Two minutes, 41 seconds. My longest yet. Yuna, it's time! Coming! <sighs> You're diving like a real pro, yeah? <laughs> You'll always be the pro, Waka. I don't know. It's been so long since I trained. <laughs> you have gotten a little chubby. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No! And you're not even the one having the baby. Oh. <laughs> it's been two years. I've learned how to hold my breath for more than two minutes now. It takes more than physical strength, and there are some tricks you can't be taught. It took practice, lots and lots of practice. I just had to keep trying until I figured it out for myself. And you know what? Back then, I didn't think there were any tricks to it at all. I didn't have time to think. An eternal calm. A slightly chubby waka. And my two minutes, 41 seconds. It's not much. But it's enough. Lady Una, it is a pleasure to meet you. I, I heard your speech two years ago in the stadium, but seeing you this close, you, you look so much more... I, I mean, you are truly beautiful. That's very kind of you to say. The reason I've come here today is to talk to you about my grandson. He's joined the Youth League, you see. I, I have nothing against the League, mind you. It's just me and the missus belong to New Yevon. My grandson used to attend all the party meetings with his parents, of course. That is, until one day. I'm sure being around people his own age can't be bad for the boy. Still, I am worried about him. I feel, oh, how shall I say this? Like our grandchildren are moving too quickly. In the last two years, new groups have been springing up all over. Everyone wants to be part of a new age. Everyone wants to build a new age. Everyone wants to build a new Spira. And they're all racing to find their own way to do it. I 
only want what's best for him. But it troubles me when we agree on so little. People have different ideas, and sometimes they disagree on the right thing to do. Some people worry about what the new age will bring. Sometimes I worry too. I just have to tell myself that for now, I'm doing the right thing. I understand how you feel. But Tastio, maybe you should try talking to your grandson first. He may walk a different path, but I'm sure he wants the same for Spira, as we all do. start a group of her own. Leave us, please. Yuna! Waka! Riku sometimes visits us here in Besaid. She's been traveling around Spira, salvaging ancient machina and teaching people how to use them. It's tiring work, but you wouldn't know it from looking at her. Hey, cut it out! Love sure got a handle on you. Where's Lulu? Back in the village. Go say hi, yeah? You betcha. And Yuna, you seem the same as always. Yeah, same as always. Is Kamari still on Mount Gagazet? Yeah, he's been up there teaching the orphan Ronzo all kinds of stuff. He's like this big guru now. Reminds me, I got something for you. Hmm, where is it? Where is it? Uh, here we go. Kamari found it up on the mountain. A sphere? Funny looking design, yeah? Take a good look, you know. No, I'm not sorry. I haven't done anything wrong. I know you're listening. If she was your girl, what would you do? How can you blame me for trying to use your weapon? It was the only way I could save the summoner. What would you do if you were me? 
let me out! I want to see her! It was a voice from the past. No, it was a voice that's never left me. What is this? What's he doing? I mean, is that really him? Is that... is he... what's going on? I'm not sure. But you want to find out, don't ya? Well, yeah, but... Yes! Let's go, then! Go where? Well, that's the tricky part. I know. Kimari found the sphere. Let's go talk to him. Whoa, whoa. You sure you're ready to just run off? Can't you wait until we find out a little more first? And just who's supposed to do the finding out? Leave that to us. I'm sure Maven Nuge will agree to help. In fact, I volunteer to ask him myself. Be ya. Understood. I shall return as soon as possible with a full report of our investigation. Well, look, I really want Yuna to go. She can't do that. Why not? Because she's book solid for three months, yeah? And everybody wants to see her. Oh, yeah? Well, what about what she wants? Well, yeah, but... <sighs> okay, maybe once things calm down, you know? And what if they don't, Waka? What then, huh? I don't believe it. After everything Yuna did for us. Why can't she just do what she wants to do now? Why? You know, every time I visited here, I wondered, why is it that when everyone's out making their dreams happen, and everyone's getting their chance, Yuna's dreams are on hold? Gee, it's not like you... Ooh. What do you know anyway, Tubby? Yuna? I want... I want to journey again. If I leave, I'll be disappointing everyone else. I want... What's the point of pretending to be all grown up if it means the things I want to say never get said? How am I supposed to change anything? Hmm. I'll go. Yuna! <sighs> I know... It's selfish, but this is my story. Right on! <laughs> I knew you'd say that, so I brought something just for you. Give me a break. First, a costume change. <laughs> you need a new look. You are a celebrity, so incognito's the way to go. But wait, you two. Uh, I'll go get Lou. An eternal calm. A slightly chubby waka. And my two minutes, 41 seconds. It's not much, but it's enough. Still, it's okay to want more, isn't it? Riku, let's leave. Let's leave right now. And with that, Final Fantasy X-2 begins. Technically. Yeah. Because like I said, you know, it's a, it's a prequel to X-2. Because it, it does take place two years after Final Fantasy X. 
in a way you could see it as a, as a sequel to Final Fantasy X, but because it's closer in the era to X2, it's really a prequel to X2. So, does watching that cutscene make you want to play X2? Does it make you want to watch a Let's Play of X2? Does it make you feel anything for X2? If it does, let me know, because it could be a possible Let's Play in the future. The sequel to Final Fantasy X, you know, as a Let's Play. Like I said, it's very different than Ten. The gameplay is really good, I like it, but the story is... <laughs> it can be a little bit strange sometimes and kind of corny too, but... Whatever, you know? So yeah, you know, if you are interested in seeing something along the lines like that, then let me know. Because it would for sure be an interesting Let's Play. It would for sure be one. I don't think it would be as long as Ten, because Final Fantasy Ten took 100 episodes long in length. That's... wow. That's crazy. Ten to would probably be around 80, I would assume, at the most. Maybe 70-ish. So I don't know, I mean, it for sure brings up an interesting topic, you know? As a future Let's Play. So, again, does that cutscene make you want to see anything related to 2 as a Let's Play, or does it make you want to play it or something, you know? Let me know, and if I get enough requests, basically from what I mentioned in the last episode on this one, if I get enough requests, then it will be for sure a game that I Let's Play in the future, in the near future. So yeah. And again, thank you for the fantastic journey for Final Fantasy X, a 100 episode Let's Play. Not exactly a short one by any means, so thank you if you did stick around for this much, for this much time. So yeah, if you enjoyed this episode or this series in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.